Did you call your customer? Uh uh uh. <laughs> There's something about certain salespeople that gives them a ton of phone anxiety. You're scared to call people. You just need to get over it. Texting the customer is not the same as calling them. Now, I don't want to discount the value of text messaging because it is incredibly valuable and it gets more and more valuable every single day. There's something special though about actually picking up the phone and having a conversation with somebody. I cannot remember how many times I've gone into a BDC, an internet department. I've been doing unsold showroom traffic. And I asked a salesperson, hey, did you call your customer? And they show me this long string of text messages where there's been communication for a week. We pick up the phone, we call the customer, and they come down that same day. There's a time and a place for text messages. And text messages are a great way to sell a vehicle. A lot of times, though, you got to pick up the phone and have a real conversation. You might not like it. The customer might not like it. In a lot of cases, though, it is what it takes to make a deal. If you had the choice where you could send one text message to a customer or you could call them and get them on the phone, what would your choice be? You should pick calling the customer. A real conversation is almost impossible to replace. So if you got anxiety... If you're saying, I text them so I don't need to call them, you got to get over it. Unless you don't want to sell a lot of vehicles. Unless you're okay with being average. Unless the fear of the phone hurts so bad that it is not worth calling the customer to sell a car. If you want to sell a lot of vehicles though, and you want to be successful, sometimes you got to pick up that phone and use it for more than just sending a text message.